Now, who can tell me what famous person wrote the Declaration of Independence? Let's see. Oh, I know. How about the new student, Timmy? Timmy! No, it wasn't you, Timmy. Try again. <laughs> the character I'm collecting in this video is Timmy Birch in Season 4 of South Park. Timmy is a handicapped child, seemingly suffering from cerebral palsy, making him unable to walk and unable to say anything besides his name and living a lie. Comedy Central, the TV network financing the series, did not approve of South Park's creator's decision to add a severely disabled child to the cast of quirky characters. Trey Parker and Matt Stone justified Timmy's presence in the show because the other children never ridicule him for being different. Comedy Central was like, no way, no way, you so cannot we, do a kid in a wheelchair. So our defense was, and it still is with, with Timmy, we think of Timmy and the boys think of Timmy as a full-fledged human being. They're not ripping on him for his disability. He's just part of the world like everyone else is. Yeah. That was awesome! Yeah, Timmy rules! Boys, you shouldn't laugh at him, he's handicapped! You're making him feel bad! He yeah. looks pretty happy to me! Timmy was very well received by South Park's fan base and his immediate popularity completely flipped Comedy Central's attitude towards the character, as they requested Parker and Stone to feature him in more episodes. Within a day, literally, Comedy Central was like, we need more Timmy, guys. Do you want to do more Timmy episodes? Can we get some more Timmy shirts and Timmy crap to sell? The character was even added to the series' opening title sequence for the next two seasons. Timmy, 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 Timmy. Timmy appears in 13 out of the 17 episodes, however in 4 of these appearances he is just a background character. When the clock hits 8.35, we all stand up on our desk, pull down our pants and yell, kiss my ass! Hey Timmy might need some help pulling his pants down. We got you covered, Timmy! Timmy! His limited vocabulary is spoken by Trey Parker. Timmy! Right, you're Timmy. Timmy! South Park's fourth season first aired between April 5th and December 20th, 2000. The boys use Timmy's electric wheelchair to pull out one of Kenny's teeth. Unaware of Timmy's precise handicap, Principal Victoria and Mr. Mackey, the school counsellor, take him to be analysed by a doctor, who diagnoses Timmy with Attention Deficit Disorder. In Chapter 7, what kind of car did Gatsby drive? Timmy! A struggling rock band, Lords of the Underworld, overhear Timmy gibbering to himself and ask the boy to be their singer. Timmy! Dude, that's hot! Yeah! The band's performance at Battle of the Bands does very well, winning them first prize, though musician Phil Collins criticises them, because he thinks the disabled child is being exploited. This plot point of the episode is an acknowledgement of the Timmy phenomena that had swept America since the character's debut two weeks before. Just because we laugh at something doesn't mean we don't care about it. Timmy made a smile, and playing made Timmy smile. So where was the harm in that? The people that are wrong are the ones that think people like Timmy should be protected. Phil Collins speaks to Timmy's parents about how his involvement with the band will have a negative impact on him. Why are you letting him do this to your son? Don't you see that everyone's just laughing at him? Richard! Hello! Richard and Helen Birch, who suffer from the exact same disability their son has, have never been seen since this episode of the series. Skylar, the leader of the Lords of the Underworld, has grown bitter because Timmy is the most popular and famous member of the band. I don't need Timmy! I'm going solo! Timmy! No, don't try and stop me, man! Meanwhile, the main characters, Stan, Kyle, Cartman, and Kenny, lied about having ADD and have been given Ritalin. You children want to go see Phil Collins? Yes, his flowing melodies are really enjoyable to us. Oh my god! It's great to write a song that loses to a Phil Collins ballad. Like that. <laughs> it's like, that's how good your song was, buddy. <laughs> Thanks to Chef and a drug called Rittle Out, the children regain their senses and demand Timmy and the Lords of the Underworld take over the Phil Collins concert.
Hartman convinces all the boys in town to join the North American Man-Boy Love Association, thinking it will make them more mature. Inevitably, they soon find out that all the men in the club are child molesters. I may have found the dream boy of the decade. He's sexy, sassy, and full of spunk. His name is Timmy. Timmy! Timmy? Timmy is one of three children who agree to help Stan steal one of Cartman's kidneys. Kenny, you stay here and guard his mom's door with Timmy. Timmy! Shh! Timmy! I'm gonna be your the boys want to become a boy band and have asked Timmy to record their first music video. Okay, Timmy, roll camera. Turn it At the audition, Cartman realizes putting the camera in the hands of a child whose disability means he has no muscle coordination might have been a mistake. Father Maxi warns the boys that they will be sent to hell unless they confess their sins. But our friend Timmy can't really talk. All he can do is say his own name, so he can't really confess his sins. So is he going to go to hell? Uh... Cartman tries to save the souls of the damned by baptizing Timmy, along with their Jewish friends, Kyle and Ike. Okay, come on! Hi, come on! Continuing on from the previous episode's plot, Cartman has become a preacher. Come on, Timmy, get out of that chair! The God wants you to walk, Timmy! Walk, Timmy! Timmy! He walks! Whoa! Yes, praise the Lord! As a new year of school begins, the children move into the fourth grade and meet their new teacher, Miss Chokes on Dick. Blinded by a fictitious nostalgia of their time in the third grade, the boys ask two college geeks to build them a time machine. This kid's electric wheelchair might be just what we need. Dick Timmer? When the device strapped to Timmy's wheelchair is activated, instead of opening a portal, it rockets the disabled child out of the classroom, and he accidentally picks up a woman during the out-of-control journey. Oh my god! Oh my god! Stay calm! You have to stay calm! But if we get off the chair, close up! No, no, that's only if the boy gets off! Oh, Sam! Damn it! While a tactical special weapons guy attempts to disarm the highly combustible device, it turns out that the college nerds did successfully create a time machine. Hey, Timmy's back! Dude, it looks like he's been all over time! He must have such cool stuff to tell us! Helen Keller, Helen Keller, blind is a bat! She can't hear us speak! What's up with that? Timmy has been cast to play Helen Keller in the school play. As it is also a Thanksgiving special, Kyle and Timmy go to buy a turkey from a local farm. Timmy picks out a disabled one, whom he names Gobbles. And where, pray, is our beautiful trick-performing turkey? Um, we sort of spent all the money on this one. Gobbles! <laughs> Cartman, who was directing the play, had wanted the turkey to perform tricks during the show, which Gobbles is incapable of doing, but Timmy refuses to remove the floppy bird. Gobbles! Ha! <coughs> Gobbles! Timmy is tricked by Lamond, an animal trainer, who wants his own performing turkey to be in the play. He convinces the boy to set the bird free into the wild. You see, they don't allow children in your situation to have wild animals as pets. You can't take him running, you can't take care of him, they have to take it away. Gobbles! Just as the play is starting, Timmy realizes Lamond and Cartman lied to him, and drives away to find his feathery friend. The children's acting coach, Jeffrey, volunteers to replace Timmy as Helen Keller though his performance is less deaf and blind, and more Jean Valjean. I cannot hear what they are saying. I cannot tell them how I feel. What the hell is he doing? Helen Keller's supposed to sing? Timmy saves Gobble's life by taking a bullet for the bird. A garbage? Garbage! As instructed by Timmy, Jimbo and his hunting buddies shoot Lamont's trained turkey so Gobbles can take its place on stage. 
It shall forever remain a mystery how Timmy was able to communicate this request to the hunters. Gabbard! As with other beloved South Park character Kenny McCormick, Timmy's limitations in speech and movement meant by season 7 he'd decreased from being a regular reoccurring character to a minor reoccurring character, with only an average of three speaking appearances per every five seasons. Although he is still a frequent background character, seen every time there is a scene in the fourth grade classroom. Timeout! 